we're embarking on the leaf spring replacement project. And for starters, we're getting the car off the ground. I want you to let it down slowly, okay? Don't don't do the super drop thing. I've got my fingers to where they will not be crushed if you do if you do drop it, but don't drop it. Now you want the suspension to come down. The car is being held up. You want the suspension to come down. For starters, we're gonna take the nut off the the lower bolt of our shackle. <laughs> this is such an it's a 9/16th nut, and you know, it's hard for us to know how long it's been since it's been messed with, but it sure is coming off pretty easy. I might have to do that. Oh, never mind. It's coming off. Ah! Careful of the wiring. Now we're detaching the uh, the rear anti-sway bar mounting points, and there shouldn't be much pressure on it. I mean, that's always something to think about, but there shouldn't be much pressure on it. Although it is, the suspension's moving a little as she's as she's undoing it. You might want to undo some on one side and then some on the other and then some on the first side and kind of like that. Let it down kind of evenly. That certainly is how you should always tighten up any, any sort of U-bolt. Try to always keep them even, because if you don't, you'll end up with one side a lot longer than the other. Okay, now we're going to undo <clears throat> the four nuts that uh, are on the end of the U-bolts that go over the axle. Kaylee has her 11 16 socket, and now we're going to undo them. How to make yourself mighty. Cheap. I am the mighty Kaylee, <laughs> the almighty, and you will bow before me. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Um, I've always found it hard to get leverage when I'm on a rolling platform. Do not take the middle nut off because... It is, a, it is a bolt whose job is to hold that leaf spring together. Oh. It has nothing to do with hmm. mounting the leaf spring to the car. No. Ooh. Anyway. Okay, so what, what we're learning here... And I have done this job before, but it's been a really, really long time. Um, that the shock was actually limiting how far down the axle could go, and it wants to go lower now. And if the shock wants to spin, somebody's going to have to hold it. Okay, we took the rubber bushing off the end of the shock absorber. Okay. And now... She's wiggling the U-bolts off. Excuse you. Please cooperate. There we go. There we go. Here we are underneath underneath the car, right in front of the rear wheels. We're about to take this, this uh, bolt off. And both the nut and the head of the bolt are three-quarters of an inch. It's not gonna work. Why not? There's no room for the bar. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here and cry for a second. No. Um, There's no crying in auto mechanics. Yes, there is. There's not. Auto mechanics for women. <laughs> <laughs> we found out what the difference is. We've always wondered. Will you please take a video of what I'm doing right now? Like me, because I look so stupid and I feel so stupid. <laughs> She's laying on her <laughs> chest, wrenching on stuff above her head. This is the equivalent, if you were standing up, of reaching up and over behind your head and like undoing a nut and a bolt. 
it's crazy, but you know what? Different people think about problems differently. I have learned this over the years. <laughs> Here we are under the very back of the car again. And um, the shackle is just, it's two bolts welded to that shackle, so we're going to want to drive it out that way. We've got a pry bar, we've got a piece of angle iron that was handy stuck up in there, and we've got the end of the pry bar against the shackle, and Kaylee's going to basically pry that shackle out from the frame rail of the car. Most of all, Kaylee, just, just try stuff, you know, like, you get to keep trying until you win. Unlimited lives, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming out. I can see it. <laughs> oh, look. Look what you just did. I'm smart. Can you pull the shackle? Just pull yeah. on the shackle. Yeah, yeah. We're free. Shackle's free. Spring coming down to the ground. There's one, one more detail on to here? go. We've got to get this, this rubber bushing out of the frame. Um, is that going to be hard? No. Uh, take like a socket, a deep socket, or just push with your little Kaylee finger. I, you know, I'm not as strong as you. I can't just push on stuff. And have it. Okay, we're back at the front. Front end of the leaf spring, and there's a big old fat washer that you... This is Kaylee taking out the front bolt by unscrewing it. Kaylee's got that bolt out. There it is. And she just grabbed the other end of the spring and yanked on it, and now the leaf spring is completely loose. We're going to take the driver's side leaf spring off now. Okay. Can you hold it with one hand while you undo it? to hit the, the ratchet with a rubber mallet to break this loose. Whee! Now that side just can rest on the ground. Okay, so you're jacking right up, right under the kind of the fatter part of the axle, right? Yes. All you need to do is lift it up enough to get it off of the leaf spring, and then you're good. No more. There's no need for that. There we go. The shackle is very important. I must de rust the shackle. <laughs> Dropping big rubber objects on little innocent people <laughs> laying on the ground. It was not a big not rubber nice object, <laughs> it was like two inches. It was a huge mass of rubber that just came For rubber, that's thundering not down on my Whatever. chest. Whatever. Thank you. You have a lot more leverage if you get on the other end of the leaf spring. 